Hi, welcome to Kingston Libraries Live. My name is Beth, um, and today I'm going to be giving you an ebook review. Um, the book I've chosen is available on the Libby app. Um, I actually reviewed one of the author's other books la a few weeks ago, maybe? Yeah, a few weeks. And it was called The Familiars. And I decided that I loved it so much that I bought the author's second book, which is called The Foundling. Um, it's by Stacey Halls. Um, who actually recently liked one of our posts on our Kingston Instagram page, which was lovely. Um, so The Foundling is still historical fiction, like The Familiars, but this time it's set in the 1700s, I want to say. Yes, 1700s. Um, and it's about a young woman called Bess, uh, or Bessie, who um, is poor and unmarried and finds herself pregnant um, when she gives birth to the baby, she realises she won't be able to look after it. And so she takes her baby to the founding hospital in London, on the outskirts of London at this time, um, where she wants it to be cared for until perhaps she's ready to come back and reclaim her baby. Um, six years passes, um, and she returns to the founding hospital with a bit of money she saved to try and reclaim her baby. And when she left her baby there, six years earlier, she left a token with it. Um, a special um, token, it's half a heart made out of whalebone. Very peculiar and unusual. Um, so she'd be able to identify her baby perfectly um, when she came back to collect her, her little girl. Um, but she returns to the founding hospital and is told that her baby was already collected by her, by the mother of the baby. Now Bess knows that that wasn't her, obviously, because she doesn't have her daughter. Um, so this then leads Bess on a journey to find out who took her baby and where her little girl now is. Because um, six years have passed, so she's now six. She's a child. Um, luckily, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but um, Bess does discover where her daughter is. And she gets the help of a doctor who works at the hospital who finds her, her a position in the household where her daughter is. Um, yeah, so she gets close to her daughter. Um, I don't want to spoil what happens because it's a really interesting book. Um, and it's about women and it's about mothers and their daughters and the love between them. Um, and it's also great at showing the class differences at the time and how women's lives were different depending on their class. But also the fact that women were still helpless no matter what their class was. Um, yeah, it, it was just a really good read. I really loved it. Um, would obviously recommend it to you guys, which is why I'm doing the video. Um, like I said, it is available on the Libby app um, for free with your library card. Um, and so is the Familiars as well, because that's why I did the other ebook review for it. Um, it's really great. I'd recommend it to my fellow um, librarians. I think they'd love it too. Um, especially if you love historical fiction. These are good ones. She's a good author for historical fiction. I can tell I'm going to love her books, whatever else she brings out. Um... And also, her books have such pretty covers. Like, look at it. It's gorgeous. Love it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so if you give this a read, um, let us know. And I hope you enjoy it. Happy reading.